Hi there, John from flyatmikealf.com, and today we're going to go through how to do a power on stall. A power on stall is as if you're taking off from the airport, and you can do this either with 75% power or more set. We're going to do it with full power set so we get a lot of left turning tendency going, a lot of P factor, and we're going to have to compensate for all that with right rudder ultimately. First, we're going to go ahead and clear the area and make sure there's no other aircraft around us. So we'll perform a 90 degree left turn and a 90 degree right turn back onto our normal heading. We're going to look around. We don't see anyone. We'll go to the left first. How we're going to set up for this maneuver is in a takeoff configuration. So we're going to go ahead and slow to within flap range because in the Cherokee we typically take off with flaps down. We'll set 10 degrees of flaps. So for this first power on stall, I'm going to go ahead and do the improper thing. I won't use as much rudder as I should. So normally as I pull back and slow through 80, I want to use considerably more right rudder and keep the ball in the center. I'm going to add full power and need even more right rudder. We see the stall light coming on. Now I'm not using enough right rudder and I'm correcting with right aileron. This is the worst thing you can do because ultimately as I pull back and we feel the airplane bump and break, we begin rolling into a left-handed spin. I'm going to recover by pushing forward, lots of right rudder to level my wings, a little bit of right aileron, and recover from the resulting dive. Now let's go over the proper way to do this, which is a little bit cleaner and not quite so scary. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, a good G on that. Yeah. That was good. The proper way to do this maneuver will be to reduce power, raise the nose to slow the aircraft, and as you're slowing through 80 miles per hour, using considerably more right rudder, applying full power, keeping the ball in the center, keeping ailerons ultimately neutral, not using ailerons for bank, especially as we approach the stall, using more and more right rudder, and as we feel that buffet, we're just going to release some back pressure. Right base rolling. There's our buffet, and there's the brake. We release the back pressure, the nose drops. We raise our nose back up level on the horizon to what we know to be a normal climbing attitude. We can see airspeeds increasing and altitudes increasing. We've recovered from our power on stall. A very simple, just releasing the controls, not shoving forward hard or anything. Just releasing that back pressure to allow the angle of attack to decrease just enough to start producing lift to take you back up. We'll go ahead and set normal cruise power here and configure for cruise flight. Flaps retracted, fuel pump off. Hi there, John from flyatmikealpha.com, and today we're going to talk you through how to do a power off stall, or an approach to a landing stall in our Piper Cherokee. To do this, we're going to set up for landing, so we're going to go PPFF, power, pitch, flaps, fuel pump. Power back to 1700, pulling back to raise the nose up. We'll do our flaps first at 10 degrees, and fuel pump on. We're pitching for 80 miles per hour there, we have 80 established, and we're going to start our nice general descent at 80 as if we were coming in for a landing. So we'll get about a 500 foot per minute descent going for us. We'll go ahead as if we turn onto our left base here. We'll go ahead and set 25 flaps on our left base. And then let's say that we were really high or we were landing on a short field, so we went to full flaps. Now we have full flaps set at 80 miles per hour. Maybe we're sinking too quickly, and we do the wrong thing. Instead of adding power for altitude, we start pulling back and getting dangerously slow. Remember, pitch controls airspeed, power controls altitude. So our RPMs rolled back, our speed's decreasing, we're pulling back here. And to recover from this, I'm just going to release some back pressure, let the nose drop, apply full power, raise the nose right away, level on the horizon so we get a positive rate of climb going. We don't want to dive and try to hit BY before climbing away, we want to get the nose up so that we can start climbing, then we'll release some back pressure, get rid of full flaps right away down to 25, start climbing away from the ground, there's VX, we can go 25 down to 10, and then accelerate to VY with a positive rate of climb before we get rid of 10 flaps. And we're more than 500 feet above the ground, we can turn our fuel pump off. Let's see that one more time. From regular cruise flight here, we'll set up for a landing, power back to 1700 RPM. Pitching for 80 miles per hour, if I let go of the controls, the nose drops, we keep going 100, I want to pull back to slow us to 80. As I'm pitching for 80, flaps coming in to 10 degrees, fuel pumps going on, I'm going to try to hold roughly the same heading, this 170 heading throughout this whole maneuver, and I'll go ahead as if we're on base leg, put in 25 degrees of flaps, still maintaining 80, letting the airplane descend now. 
we'll go ahead and go to full flaps. This time we'll do the power all the way to idle, maybe as if we lost our engine. Airplane's coming down, I'm pulling back, which is causing the airplane to slow. I should push forward to speed us up. We're gonna see the stall light come on. I'm still using rudder to level my wings. Ailerons stay neutral in a stall. So as we pull back and stall, using a rudder to keep the wings level, applying full power, raising my nose right away back to the horizon there, getting rid of full flaps. We have a positive rate of climb, increasing airspeed. Got VX, so we'll go ahead and go 25 down to 10. As we accelerate some more here, we'll go ahead and get 10 down to zero. And remember all that right rudder you use when you first apply full power. You're very slow. Throwing in full power gives you a lot of torque effect, a lot of P-factor, a lot of things trying to turn you left. You need to catch it with right rudder when you apply that full power on a go-around or recovering from a approach to a landing. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on our video and you can subscribe to us to follow all our latest episodes over here on the right. Also, go ahead and check out some of these videos down below. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly8mikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.